Hey everyone, today we're going to take a look at the Google Pixel 3! Okay, let's actually get this thing unboxed. So I have here a Google Pixel 3 XL, the white one. So it comes in this nice box, it's got this green on the back. Hashtag Team Pixel with the Google logo. This is the 64GB version. I'm not sure if it says here, yeah it says here, 64GB. Uh, clearly white, uh, designed by Google, made in China. It's got this glossy shiny G sticker on it. Uh, so as you open this thing, they have a pull tab here, which rips off the plastic and the same thing on the other end so that comes off so now we should be able to just slide it off there we go so there we have it the Google Pixel 3 the clearly white version there is a tab here you pull up and then we have the phone so this is it this is the brand new Google Pixel 3 let's take this plastic cover off wraps around a little bit. Oh, so it covers the entire screen. There we go, so let's get rid of this plastic. Okay, so there we have it. This is the Pixel 3, so glass back, glass front. This is kind of frosted. Feels nice to the touch. There's a glossy bit at the top, but this whole panel here is glass. This allows for the uh, wireless charging. And of course, the very famous and very powerful camera they have in the back here. Of course, the LED flash as well. The power button is this nice kind of greenish color, which is cool. And then they have the dual face or dual front facing cameras at the front here. Okay, so there's the fingerprint scanner as well and then the G logo. Let's put this aside and see what else is in the box. So there's a cover there. We have some documentations. Okay, so there's a SIM eject tool here as well. And there is the pixel stickers and then a pamphlet and the let's get started guide so let's put this aside okay going in for a closer look underneath we have a pair of USB-C earbuds which is pretty nice so they match the design of the pixel buds you can expand the loop so that it fits your ear a bit better uh, they are USB-C as I mentioned which is nice and they do come with uh, a mic or inline mic as well so underneath that, we have the USB-C to C charging cable. Uh, we have a bunch of adapters, which is nice. We have a USB-C to A adapter and a C to 3.5 millimeter headphone jack as well. And then, of course, we have the charging brick. So the charging brick, this is an Australian adapter, um, but the capacity is five volts, three amps, and nine volts, two amps. So let's go on to the features. Okay, so the headlining features is obviously in the camera. So I've turned this on, and what we'll do is we'll just demonstrate some of the uh, features in the camera. So let's launch the camera down here. So one feature that most people don't talk about is the autofocus on the, on the phone itself. So what we'll do is, uh, I have this little Android here. Uh, what you can do is you can actually tap on a subject, and then it will actually lock onto that subject, so it went out of frame there. So we'll try again. If I tap on this little Android here, it will try and lock onto it. I hope I'll just cover it with my fingers. So there you go, you see that I'm moving the Android around and it's doing its best to try and keep that in focus. Now the interesting thing is, uh, it actually works in video. So if we switch to the video now, so there it is, we tap on the Android, we start recording, and let's see what happens. So if I pick this up, look at that, focus tracking. This is freaking amazing. I don't know if any other phone can do this, but there you go. So there's focus tracking. Uh, and the other thing is the super res zoom. So super res zoom, what it does is when you go to the camera or, or video or whatever, I don't think it works in video, but in camera, uh, what you do is when you zoom in, uh, it actually tries to do some magic to try and take multiple shots uh, as your hand shakes and then try and combine them later. So it's a bit hard to demonstrate. But what I can do is, uh, I read the research blog and they mentioned that if the phone is on a tripod or if it's, if it's very still, what it'll do is it'll actually use the uh, OIS to actually shake the camera module so that you can actually get those different shots to try and do that super red zoom. So what I can do is I can try and emulate a uh, tripod or keeping the phone still and let's see if we can uh, see the, the OIS actually shaking the sensor by itself. So uh, right now, I'm not touching the phone. Um, to my naked eye, I can see the words actually moving around 
in like a kind of like a circular movement. So the OIS is actually moving the sensor by itself to try and capture uh, the extra pixels it needs or the extra images it needs to do that super res zoom. Uh, hopefully it will show on the camera. It might not, but I am keeping the phone completely still and the sensor is actually shaking itself right now. So while we're here, we might as well do a quick hardware tour of the device. So I mentioned that color pop uh, power button there, no headphone jack. The SIM tray has now gone down to the bottom, uh, the USB-C charging port, uh, of course. And then we have the two uh, front firing speakers. So there's a smaller one up here and then a large one up there. Uh, there is a blinking light there, you see that? That's an infrared light. So the camera is picking it up, but you can't see it to your naked eye. So I'm not sure what that is for, but there are two front facing cameras, uh, which they justify for the massive, massive notch. Uh, okay, and on the left side, there is absolutely nothing. And on the back, of course, we have the camera and then the fingerprint scanner. Uh, this feels really nice, the touch. It feels super smooth. It doesn't actually feel like glass, it just feels like smooth, almost like metal, but it's actually glass. So that's about it for the Pixel 3 quick look anyway. So I hope this was helpful and hope you guys enjoyed this. And uh, thanks for watching. Okay, let's look here. Pixel 3 mode.